Hey friends and welcome back to another video. Today I will be teaching you step by step how to paint these adorable ghosts. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to give you a quick little supply rundown of what I will be using today. I will be using masking fluid, a fine liner pen, paintbrushes, a jar of water, paper towel, and some paints. Remember all supplies I'm using today will be linked in the description box if you want to check out exactly what I'm using. Also, today's question of the video, do you prefer Thanksgiving or Halloween? I would love to know. Comment down below what you prefer. I think I personally prefer Thanksgiving more, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let's go ahead and get started on our painting. Okay, I'm going to put aside my paintbrushes for a moment, and then I'm going to get my piece of paper and my masking fluid. And this masking fluid pen is really cool because it has a very fine tip and it is really easy to draw with. Here, as you can see, is the very fine tip of the masking fluid. And to start off, I'm just going to do a bunch of little eyeballs for the ghosts. So as I did in this card, I did three little ghosts. I'm going to do the same thing on this piece of paper here. So two little circles here, two little circles here, and two little circles here for the eyeballs. With the masking fluid, you just want to go ahead and squeeze the bottle a little bit and then you just kind of move it around in a circle till you get the shape that you are wanting. There we have our first two little eyeballs. You can kind of play around with it till you get what you would like. And now I'm going to work on the second ghost. Now I'm doing the third. Now that I've finished putting all the masking fluid on this that I'll be using for today, I'm going to let it completely dry 100% and then we'll come back and paint the ghosts. Now that our masking fluid is dry, we can go ahead and get started on painting these ghosts and they really are so, so simple. Anyone can do it. Just take your brush and a little bit of watered down gray paint and then you're just going to make an upside down U shape over the ghosts and fill that in. And that is pretty much it. You can see here on this card that I made it uneven at the bottom and I personally just like that. But if you wanna make yours all one length, go right ahead and do whatever is best for you. And I just kind of make those jagged edges by bringing down my brush like this and making sure that it's pretty even around the top. And there we go. That's how simple these ghosts are and they are so, so cute. Then we just wait for that to dry, peel off the masking fluid and continue to paint on the orange border or add boo, whatever you would like. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Take my watered down gray paint, make an upside down U shape around my little eyes I have here already. And then I'm just gonna make that jagged edge on the bottom and fill it in. And repeat it for the last ghost. Go ahead and fill it in and there you go. Now I'm just going to wait for this to dry and I'll come right back. Okay, now that our masking fluid is dry, you can just go ahead and rub it off and it just rubs off really easily and this is why you want the paint to be completely dry before you rub it off because otherwise it will pull up the paint and then you can just throw this away it's like little bits of plastic and then you have little white circles so then what i do is take a black pen and make little eyeballs here I have my favorite fine liner. I'll link it below along with all of the other things for you guys. And I'm just going to make little circles for the eyeballs. And I like to make them going in different directions to kind of make it look like my ghosts are looking different ways. So this one I'll put more down. And then this one I'll put more up. 
and there you can kind of see how it looks like they're looking in different angles so then that's all I do and you could just glue them like this you could add faces you could outline them you could add a border but for today I'm going to add an orange border around the edge just to make it a little bit more Halloweenish, I guess so for that I'm going to take my size 2 paintbrush and then I'm just going to get some orange paint just the orange that's already on my palette I'm not going to do any extra mixing or anything and then I'll just do as straight of lines as I can okay so I'm gonna start down here at the bottom and just bring it all the way across there we go and I don't want it like perfectly straight because I want it to look hand painted okay I'm just gonna spin it to kind of make it easier to do the lines Okay, and now I'm going to do the other side. Okay, and then the top. All right. There we go. Now that is finished. I'm going to wait for the orange to dry and then I'm going to write to boo down here just for something cute and you could put this in a picture frame or you could send it to a friend or a family member, but I'm going to come back once it's dry. Now that this is mostly dry, I'm going to take my favorite fine liner again and just write boo down here real quick. Okay, there we go. And that is it for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below and leave a comment. Also, don't forget to answer today's question of the video. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.